patterned draperies hang at the French doors. The room is decorated with framed theatrical posters, unlike these which are window cards, not posters, and a collection of guns, handcuffs, maces, broadswords, and battle axes, several of which I'm going to make use of any minute now. Would you like me to explain? You have nothing to explain. You are a lunatic with a death wish. Freud covered it thoroughly. I have exactly the same wish you have, Sydney. A success wish. Oh, and this is going to bring you success. Don't you remember? I put in that little extra speech when you were looking for the key. I mean, it hit me right there that night. It can be a terrific thriller. In which someone like me and someone like you give someone like Myra a fatal heart attack. Yes, at the end of Act One. What, pray tell, is your definition of success? Being gang-banged in the shower room at the state penitentiary? I knew you would have reservations about it. That's why my first instinct was to say it wasn't even a thriller. I, I, I haven't enjoyed putting you on, Sydney. I'm glad it's out in the open. <laughs> you knew I would have reservations. You do, don't the you? The house madman is writing a play that'll send both of us to prison. Well, I am standing here terrified, horrified, petrified, stupefied, crapping my pants, and he calls about having reservations? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to use one of those on you. I'm going to beat you to death with Roger's thesaurus. <laughs> I have a comment, Cliff. No. Absolutely, definitely, no. I have a name and a reputation, tattered perhaps, but still valid for dinner invitations, house seats, and the conducting of summer seminars. I want to live out my years as author of The Murder Game, not fag who knocked off his wife. I really don't want that play to be written. Even though nothing can be proved, too much will be talked about. And I'm a little too old, and yes, uptight, to join the Washington secretaries and the ex-lovers of ex-presidents and the happy hookers and the happily hooked in the National Bad Taste Exposition. And I can't honestly think of any other way to be sure that you won't set me up in a centrally located booth. I'm truly sorry, Cliff. If you hadn't succumbed to thrilleritis malignus in what is surely one of the most acute cases on record, who knows? We might actually have become the team of Brule and Anderson. As it is now, we'll have to be only Brule. I'm out of dialogue. Your go. <laughs> <laughs>